Um, today, guys, it was one of those days where we woke up with some. Oh, in fact, I, I, I made a mistake when I say woke up with some news. No, 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 no. Actually, as we were, you know, journeying throughout the day, boom, the judicial system. Uh, the, the, the judges in Bloemfontein, they came back with some news that say, yeah, we are going to set aside the decision that say Jacob Zuma cannot participate in the election. And they were like, no, 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 That is not a constitutional right. So that is some of the uh, local, that, that is a reaction that we want to, to talk about in today's episode. So let me see, guys. I just I just wanna make sure that I am aligning everything correctly so that I can be in a position where I read your comment. But yeah, it's about the reaction to that as well. So I will be I will definitely be reading your comment. Um, I just want I, I want you guys to tell me what you think about uh, and everything that I've uh, look that has just uh, that has transpired today, right? Um. And like, yes, we are in, we are within, we are within, we are within. I just want to make sure that I, I have your, you guys um, here. So, okay. Thank you very much. We are within. Right. So let me now uh, concentrate on people's reaction uh, for us to have this live stream properly set. So um, today, yeah, guys, we the letter that came from the judicial was that uh, it read as follows uh, having had the counsel for the parties having read the papers file of the record for the following order is main number one the application for leave to appeal is granted number two the appeal succeeds number three the decision of electoral commission of march 2024 in terms of which uh, applicant candidacy Mr. Zuma is set aside and substituted with the following with the following the objection is hereby dismissed the order is made as to cost local no order is made is made as to cost so right from here guys there is no I'm reading something here from what I'm reading as of now there is no what can I say? There is no that that word that word that word that word. There is no detail. So I'm told that we must or we should we will soon be waiting for the details concerning this whole thing, right? But then let me read people's reaction because a lot of people reacted to uh, reacted to this. Um, uh okay 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 i don't know what is happening with my live stream it appears like my live stream is a bit um is a bit back i don't know what is happening with my live stream but i can tell you this that um electoral court can't find former president jacob Zuma eligible uh to look it, it says it's million guidance it says electoral court finds former president jacob Zuma are eligible to participate in the uh, look in elections this will seen uh, as another blow to the ANC prospect of uh, a regaining majority. Right there, I don't know what's, kept, what's happening with my live stream today. Uh, it's probably low. I don't know. Let me check something here. If need be, I'm going to have to cancel my live stream. But it appears that we are, we are all set. Now, the other interesting thing here in this episode is the fact that um, there has been already there is already a suggestion that uh, must be the minister of education and i know a lot of you guys will say oh bongs what do you mean yeah there is something like that on the table and that says must be the minister of education now we will then talk about that but the third thing that we need to talk about in today's um, uh, live stream is the fact that oh who's this guy right uh oh no this lady Ududu zuma the ladies who's always next to jacob zuma right um we are told that she is heading to parliament she's part and parcel of the candidates that are going to parliament so 
I want us to talk about uh, all of that. But then when it comes to Jacob Zuma, I would like us to talk about the following. And that is to say, um, he has posed questions such as, you know what? I didn't finish my term. So since I didn't finish my term, who said I can't be the president again? Because I did not finish at the term. So the question is, are we going to see Jacob Zuma challenging this whole thing of uh, uh, of presidency? Because I, I keep referring to this because I watched, the other time I was sitting there watching an interview from SAPC One by uh, look, uh, this political uh, political journalist on SAPC One senior. Let me just put the look. The, the sentence correctly. Senior political journalist on SAPC Mzwanele Mbech, if I'm not mistaken, he said there are two people that can never be president again in South Africa. Number one, he says it is Utabumbegi. Number two, it is U Jacob Zuma. But then Jacob Zuma, or oh, yesterday when they were outside the court, he asked that question. And uh, because Jacob Zuma asked that question, it kind of like creates this impression to me that, hey, this man is saying that there is something that we probably don't know in the constitution that will allow him to go back and be the president again. And he, he, look, he said things along these words, right? That um, who's, look, just because I was a president and I didn't finish my term, who said I can't be the president again? So it therefore raised this thing or some questions to me to say, does that mean that Jacob Zuma is saying he has found something in the constitution uh, that will allow him to be the president again. Because, I mean, when it comes to Jacob Zuma, you can't really conclude and say, ah, nothing, like, there's not nothing, no such a thing. Because, first of all, when Jacob Zuma was arrested, a lot of us didn't even know that there was, um, in fact, I was watching, you know, as people were talking, people didn't know that there was something called the rescission, right? But they, Look, they brought us to that to us, right? Then people didn't know that they were look right now. A lot of people didn't think uh, that Jacob Zuma was gonna make it in terms of the in terms of the uh, in terms of the the elections, right? A lot of people. I was listening to a lot of political analysis and people who are uh, look uh, legal minds and all of them. All of them had said that he is not going to come, is not going to be the president ever again, and is not going to uh, make it to the ballot paper, right? But today he has made it. So I'm trying to demonstrate the point that um, when it comes to this man, really it is like, uh, I feel like I can say, it is, you, you can't predict things and say, I know um, he's never going to make it. I feel like it, that is a serious mistake that one can do when it comes to Jacob Zuma. Now, uh, shortly, I will now go back and now we will continue with everything that I've just said. But uh, remember that I said I want us to talk about Bongosi Kanyele being the president of EFF. Now, uh, no, 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 not the president, sorry, man. I said the president of EFF. I, I meant to say uh, Bongosi Kanyele being um, the minister of education. That is what other people are saying. I'm reading you. I'm trying to see if I can see your comments, guys. Uh, I can't see your comments. I don't know if people have commented because I'm interested to read your comments. But then, uh, before we can um, say anything further, there is an article that we're talking about, the fact that Jacob Zuma's daughter, uh, oh, look, it says Jacob, look, Jacob Zuma's daughter, make it to the election candidate list. Uh, by Jacob Zuma's daughter, we are referring to Ududu Zuma. Now, the article was released by Newsroom, uh, look, uh, News 24, on the 2nd of March, oh, no, 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 in fact, sorry, it's City Press. Yeah, hey, I'm giving credit to wrong people. It is City Press. City Press uh, uh, said this about uh, Jacob Zuma's daughter, with, which is Ududu Zuma. They said the following, Duduzile Zuma remain uh, like a, a party's, look like one of the party's candidates. They say, Duduzile Zuma, the ex-president's daughter, uh, uh, the, what, what, do you, what do you mean when you say Duduzile Zuma, the ex, or oh, the ex-president's daughter? Is, is after last week's turmoil, the only member of the Zuma family is still on the uh, party list on the candidate. Now we know that even Zuma himself will be on the candidate himself. Now, um, okay, people are, are, are look, greeting me. I'm going to be reading their comments. Now, so Duduzile Zuma, they said the following. She is 18 
on the Umkonto Wesizwe party, uh, party list of candidate for the National Assembly. So in other words, Duduzile Zuma, she is going to be a member of parliament now. Her twin brother, Duduzile's All Game Changers Party, was originally of the Electoral Commission of SA, uh, SA's um, IEC list on the candidate for the, nat look, the national election when it was uh, published for inspection on Tuesday, but, she, uh, look, but since been quietly removed. I think that is the, the one of the, look of, the what? Uh, the, the political party of Uduzan, yes. The INC also announced that the name of Zuma Senior, the MK Party's presidential candidate, should also be removed from the list of candidates. We know that they won that case today, so the article was written there before today. So they won that case, so Zuma will also be on the ballot paper. In other words, we will see the father and the daughter, right, or his daughter. They will be in parliament. <laughs> because I, I honestly believe that uh, MK is going to get good, they will get good numbers that will allow them to go to parliament, right? That's at least my, my belief. They say this comes after the, the receive objections, and then let's forget about that one. Uh, let's forget about all the history that they are giving us here. Then there's something that uh, the article went on to say if the EFF loses the support in the upcoming general election, the chances are very slim for, for that advocate Mkwebane, a former public protector and a former government spokesperson in Mzwanele Mani will be shown as a members of, of parliament again. They are both shown in MPs for, a, a local, uh, for EFF last year, shortly after joining the party. Uh, let's leave this one. Uh, um, I want us to talk about independent gift, but I, I, I'm, I'm not going to focus on in the rest of the things that they are saying here. The most important thing is that Jacob Zuma's daughter, being Ududuzile Zuma, she is going to be in parliament with her father, Ududuzile president or former president Jacob Zuma. Um, now, I have said that, and I'm interested to see your reaction. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to read something for you shortly that I want us to entertain. But just give me a few minutes as I am going through something here. Right. Um, there is something that was said by e EFF. And there's something also that I want us to talk about when it comes to Udalin Jebo and the EE, look, EDA, not, there's something that was said by EDA, but we will talk about that on the later stage. For now, uh, it is about one Zuma, two Bomengosi Kanyile, three Duduzile Zuma. So I've already spoken and I've already given you the detail that uh, Duduzile Zuma will be or is going of is, is confirmed to be on the list of people uh, that are or on the list of candidates submitted by e, e, look, e, e, mk candidate that will be sent to parliament so i am sitting here like being honest to you that uh, looking at everything that is transpiring and looking at the effect that e, mk is gaining momentum i can't I, I can't help but realize that these people definitely the like, oh, to do the Zuma will be in parliament come 2024, uh, probably is in April or after April, around there when they are sewn in. And you know what I'm saying? I believe that she's going to be there. So, what's your take about that? We'll come back now to Bongosi Kanyele as well as Jacob Zuma winning this case. Now, um, yeah, so let me let me read your comments first and let me see who's greeting me. Bongan Emmanuel. Uh, San Bonan Ekaya, such Locosa, Sia Jabula, Sisi, Sis, Wabuya, Ujesu, Bai, ANC, Nama, 350N, Lerato Molefe. Good evening, Bongs. Yeah, 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 um, just look at the fact that uh, the way they fought, because I mean, like, if he didn't want to go to parliament, I mean, he, I, I don't think they would have fought the way they did. But okay, let me read people's reaction, right? Um, I'm just looking at people reacting to this. 
uh, Jacob Zuma winning this thing again. Let's see a South African ex-president win a court bid to re look. Uh, we already had that. A lot of people were look. Okay, let me read a statement by Prof Moya yeah, on Twitter. She say he says breaking above me that the heavens once again said yes to his excellency president jacob zuma president jacob zuma will remain the face of the mk as chosen by people the electoral court has dismissed the iec unlawful denial of president jacob zuma that is some of the things that he said and then he goes on to say um, the electoral court, okay, President Jacob Zuma's uh, constitutional right to return to the union building. We thank the extreme advocate of the people, Advocate Dalim Bofu, for his swift victory. The court has subsequently hinted that the IEC, often seen as linked to the ANC, should refrain from involvement in political conflict. The IEC must uphold its independence and neutrality. Right, that is Professor Moya. He continues to say, um, the ANC of Ramaphosa and the lawyers of the IEC now uh, look, are now more frustrated than ever before. They have tried so hard to suppress President Jacob Zuma and have eventually failed this time. We remember they once asked the Concord to give an order that will terminate President Jacob Zuma's pension. Why so much hate? For Dr. Zuma, we are indeed a spiritual war between evil and good. By God, we thankfully know that all local good always triumphant over evil. The, 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 the MK party tsunami is unstoppable. The sooner the dictators realize that, the less stress they will have. President Jacob Zuma will, will, will unshare in the union building to restore the hope of South Africans. Hmm. I'm interested to hear your comments. Utuzile <laughs> Zuma posted, President Zuma will be on the ballot paper. Right. Um, I'm just looking at people's reaction. Uh, I'm coming back to your comments, guys. I'm coming back to your comments. Um, we just Today, we're just talking. We're just having that family meeting where we, we're just talking. Nothing much. We are not gonna be fussy about everything here we're just gonna talk about the victory today that has happened and let's look at how people are reacting to this i seem to have lost um, a lot of uh, comments on twitter uh, i was also reading from twitter as well but i've seen i seem to have lost a lot of those comments um i'm gonna come back now to your comments in the comment section below uh since i wanted to balance things now I want you guys to tell me, or look, or tell me this, right? Um, will you rather have Jacob Zuma as a president, or will you rather have Jacob Zuma mentoring a person that is the, that will lead the country, even though he's now eligible to go to parliament? But would you rather have Jacob Zuma as a president, or would you, you would rather have Jacob Zuma uh, mentoring somebody else? I mean, there are a lot of people that uh, can be the president. It's just that maybe you know, we don't know yet. And uh, maybe the majority of people love Jacob Zuma and they have that kind of love with your local for Jacob Zuma. But because of that, uh, sometimes people's love, people's people. People's love can be blinded by the fact that they are following a particular or a specific leader, right? Uh, let me read your comments and as look uh, before I continue now. Uti um, Ukaya shares, let MK win and, uh, and and change the judicial systems. Katele manje. Kaya shares, kindly tell me, look, what, 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 why are you so tired? You know, what's the cause of your tiredness? Nikatazoe, kindly share with me. Right. Otige umde ni butelezi. Bongengosi is not politically matured. For the portfolio of educa local education, education minister, he is good in youth league to learn more. Uh, tell me something, do you disagree or agree? Because here I brought this proposition uh, from other people, people are saying that Tibongosi Kanyele should be the president of uh, 
should be the president of oh, what is this thing should be the president or not president man why do i keep referring to him as a president he will be or they are saying he should be the minister of education i guess they are saying this because of the the struggles that he has as far as education is concerned so because of that a lot of people are thinking that he would make a very good minister of education because he's got a first-hand experience and i'll talk about that shortly but let me read this um uh I salute Zuma with look with him. We keep on having a, a better understanding of the law. Hey, that man, man, he keeps schooling us about the law. A lot of things that we didn't know. But you know, as you look at Jacob Zuma, he will just show you things that surely you didn't know, but that, that they exist in the constitution. Bonging Pile Moses Uti ANC were not supposed to fight with MK. That is the worst thing they did. Okay, okay, please elaborate on that one. <laughs> Do you think they would have collaborated? Do you think they would have look maturely agree with that? Right, let's continue. Somebody says, Oh, Bong and Emmanuel, after this election, I would like to see MK solving two cases, Mayiwa and AKA. I'm very ashamed to be a South African under the ANC government. I, you guys are loud and clear as I will continue to wait for your comments in the comment section below. So, right, let's talk about the proposition that no, should be, uh, should be uh, the Minister of Education, right? There's this country, I, 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 I don't know, I forgot their name, right? If you look at their, look at their parliamental, their, the, the guys that are on parliament, um, in this country, you will find that everyone let's say for instance they are talking about the minister of finance you will find that the minister of finance um has been into the finance sector for a very long time and has done well and there's a track record and then they make you a minister of finance say for instance you were a ceo of a certain financial institution that was doing well um then they will make you a minister of finance if they are talking about minister of agriculture they will find a guy who has been into farming who has done exceptionally well that person they will take that person and make this individual a minister of agriculture. Like that, minister of transport, you must have been in the transport industry. So that will then qualify Ubongosi Kanyele to say uh, he can go there and be the, the local, the, local and, and, and be the minister. In, now that he's got a first hand experience, and he, look, as a, as a person who who has suffered a lot in terms of, or suffered a lot, and that lot that we are talking about, it was inflicted by the educational system, right? Speaking about the educational system, he knows a lot. Uh, him and Mkebo, at some point, if you remember vividly, they spoke up a lot. In fact, it was me listening to Mkebo who spoke about this thing that um, in education system, right? They, they say, for instance, um, there are 100 students in studying law they decide who should pass and who the number of people that should pass some people they fail not because really they need to fail but they fail because there's a number of people that needs to pass and there's a number of people that needs to fail so the argument that look, that proposes Bongan, look, Bongosi Kanyele as the minister of education is because they are saying you know these things uh, so you will be able to solve them but then that argument is also met by the opposition as well that says no he's still not yet matured matured enough to be the minister of such an institution now when it comes to the issue of he, look, or him being matured or not matured um it's very difficult for me to comment because we still need to define then uh, what do we regard it as maturity right mature enough for that AA look. So I will wait in the comment section below for the for the for for oh look there's there's an individual that suggested that I just forgot the name. So I will wait for that. But yeah let me read your comments before look, because what that is exactly what we'll do. Today it's about us having a, a having some good time. Right okay oh as done to libongan ubongan uguti uzo look uzo win Uzo wena uzuma IEC im im sebenzi im sebenzi wa ugu ubala e e izin iziba los ama vote not uguti um not uguti aga fanele uguya e parliamente e 
Okay, uh, the comments just disappeared. I don't know what is happening. Uh, the oh, okay. Um, wait a minute. If manage the comment, guys, I need to read the comment as it is. Uh, it is a very interesting comment. Uh, oh, 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 Uzo wena, uzo wena, uzuma, AI isi umsebe nzuwayo, uguba, ugubala, izi balo za mavodi, noti uguti, agafanele uguya e palamende. Prayer, e lokuti, prayer is the key of solving in king. Gift nyati, let Jacob Zuma go back to the union building so that he can arrest Ramaphosa regarding the case of Palapala, the money loan, the money found under the mattress. And that's another interesting topic as well, guys. And nobody's talking about that, and I don't know why, but nobody's talking about the fact that there was a money that was found under the mattress. Why people are not talking about that? Uh, that would be quite interesting, but let's continue here. Uh, <laughs> um, policy John, um, it's good that Jacob Zuma won the case, but I would not like to see him as a president or MP, okay? Um, okay, I get you. Zuma should be the president, according to Leon Paul. Okay, Ur Robert Bambo now checkmate for Zuma is Malema with numbers. <laughs> what do you mean? Please explain that. I'm interested to, to, to look. I'm interested in that um, that uh, uh, analysis there on. Eh? I'm interested. The Umbugiso BTV. Hey guys, um, is that a YouTube channel? Because uh, it says BTV. Guys, if it's a YouTube channel, guys, please do consider uh, subscribing in Umbugiso BTV. Right. Radical transformation as an uh, as, as artist, I think we need cloud motor locomotive and then go back, fix the industry so it benefit uh, local ninety percent local content on TV and radio, not American. <laughs> yeah, I think also guys that like, what Umbugiso BTV is basically saying here is that it's very important. Uh, when cloud was there. A lot of artists benefited, and I remember talking. Look, I remember listening to some interviews where people were saying, were voicing their opinion, saying, um, "Indeed, they really benefited under Utlaudi. Uh, it was good for them. They benefited, and they, 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 look, a lot of people were saying, yes, he had his own mistakes.' But the bottom line is that he, you know, he was good to them. They benefited under his leadership, right? Uh, tell me what you think, when And let's continue reading these comments before Nami. I. Um, before Nami, I start. Okay, Utige Utandi Kosa or Kosa, like uh, Trump. Um, Goodman Zulu. I will be very happy to see him mentoring someone so he can also take care of himself instead of traveling up and down as he is uh, aging. Hmm. Okay, that's, that's the very important point that as he is aging, um, it will take a toll on him. How old is Jacob Zuma? Then? Is it 70 or 8? Something. Please help me on that one. How old is Jacob Zuma? Right. Ulon, Ulu Leon, Paul, Ulu Paul, Oti. Uzuma, Uba, Uzuma, Uba, Bawabandu, Abam, Nyama, Owet. Leon, Paul, Mina, Ni, Uti, Mina, Ni, Kwele, Ngawe, Bongs. Uti, Mina, Ni, Kwele, Ngawe, Bongs. Thank you, Leon, Paul. <laughs> Thank you, Leon, Paul. All right. Um, yeah, so let me let me check something uh, on this issue. So you guys are saying that Jacob Zuma should not be the president, but rather should mentor someone. No, that's actually other people are saying that he should not be the president, but rather he should mentor other people. Um, <laughs> Zuma is, oh, he's 81. I found his age. Zuma is currently 81, uh, right? Uh, <laughs> Now nah, I find this age. I found I found this age. I was looking for his age. Um, okay, okay, okay. So he's eighty-one. A eighty-one year old. Do you think that he should continue to campaign as the president? I mean, he should be the president, or he should mentor somebody else. I, I'm interested to, to, to hear your opinion concerning that. One has already said that he should mentor somebody else. The, of which, for me, I will say, okay, even if he's mentoring somebody else, um, I wouldn't have a problem. Uh, but then I guess 
one question that I haven't asked you guys is, why do you like Ucheko Bzuma? Like, what, what's the reason? I, mean, I can give you my reason why, but why? Uh, why? <laughs> I'm seeing a picture here. I'm seeing a picture here, guys. That is very interesting. Where yeah, I uh, the thing is, I can't share the picture with you, but definitely, guys, I'm gonna do something about that. Uh, right, right. I'm checking something. I'm checking if I'm leaving something concerning. Oh, le, 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 look, <laughs> I'm checking if I'm leaving something concerning. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not finding anything that is of look that is worth our discussion. Uh, so now, um, I want you guys to tell me what you think about that, and then let's talk about. Um, uh, we've already spoken about Ukanyile. I feel like we are done talking about Ukanyile. A lot of people are, look, a lot of people feel Uguti uh, Ukanyile. Maybe he's still young. He still uh, look need a mentorship, right? Just on the side note, guys. On the side note. On the side note. Um, just on the side note, I want us to talk about this. Just on the side note, I know, I know, I know. It might not be. Uh, let's talk about the the accident, Guy Jacob Zuma, right? Do you remember most of the accident, the car accident, right? Since we are already talking about Jacob Zuma, so we might as well talk about this. There was an article that was released on. Uh, there was an article that was released by uh, by a Daily Maverick, right, about Jacob Zuma's car accident. Now, I thought the the article was worth sharing because of the things contained thereon. In the article, um, okay, uh, man. In the art the article was released by Rebecca, da Le Rebecca Davis, Davis, right, on the eighth of April. That means, as of me reading now, um, it was yesterday. The article says on the twenty eighth of March, two thousand and twenty four. The car in which former President Jacob Zuma was traveling in Wazulu Natal was involved in an accident, or was it a misinformation, or its aside has been uh, swinging around in incident? In other words, they are saying, was the, in, the accident staged, right? Because now, there is now, should I say, should I call it a proposition? I don't know. But there are people who are saying that accident did not happen, it was staged. So the article that I'm about to read now to you, it, 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 it comes from that angle. So let me let me listen, listen to this one. On, on, on look on the one side of the social media narrative, some prominent ex local ex users claim the accident was staged, uh, posting photos of uh, perpetuating to show minimal damage to the car. These photos are unverified, although Google Images Reserve search does not show them linked to any other accident. On the other side of the narrative, it look it did not may it did not take long for MK political party to look to launch by in Jacob Zuma 2023 to claim that the incident was attempted was an attempted hit. Right, MK party spokesperson Damolo Ndela was quoted in the media as saying, this looks like an attempt to assassinate o President Jacob Kezeslegi Samsanganyelwa Zuma. Uh, what, what's your take? Remember that at some point in the way, look, it was confirmed that o Jacob Zuma, uh, look, the, the car that was involved in, look, in this accident, uh, the driver was arrested. And I saw the pictures of that BMW. It's BMW... M5 series, if I'm not mistaken. It was a black BMW M5 series. Uh, remember that Jacob Zuma travels with, I think they were traveling with BMW X6. So that one is was M5, a black one. So I saw the car as well. They say MK, uh, MK head of election Mosam Kiza told the SAPC that the party suspect a foul play since they had uh, previously received warning that Zuma will be in hospital before the election. Where does this look? Where does the truth lies? The police have confirmed that the car containing Zuma 
did get into an, 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 an accident on the 28th of March near a showway. They said a motor vehicle collided with the former president official Ahmad uh, State Vehicle and that a 51-year-old 50, alleged drunk driver had, look, has since been arrested for, their, for the incident and uh, his blood sample have been taken for a further testing as police investigation continues. The suspect who has not been named is reportedly a first-time offender who has already appeared in the Eshowe Magistrate Court and has been released on 500 bail. Police have not given any indication that there is any anything behind the incident other than an alleged drunk driver, given that South Africans has, look, has one of the worst road safety records in the world. This should not be too hard to swallow. In other words, they are saying we should believe that it was just an accident, just one of those road accident guys. You know, nothing much. You shouldn't make much of this. That's that's exactly what they are saying. Uh, but again, we will continue to know to soldier on. The former president has himself alleged, or uh, at least three separate occasions, that he has been the victim of attempted poisoning. One of the alleged poisoners was his estranged wife, Nompomelo Lontuli Zuma who was banned from Zuma's home in 2015 for allegedly conspiring to poison him. But the National Prosecuting, Prosecuting Authority said, that, said later that, based on its investigation, there was no evidence that Zuma had been poisoned at all. Um, hey, I don't know, I don't know. In summary, it seems certain, it seems certain that Zuma's car did indeed get into an, ex, an, an accident. And there is no evidence that they, look, this was staged. But there's also no evidence currently that the accident was part, part of a kind of a targeted political act of violence. Now, e e Daily Maverick has covered that, and I thought to myself, uh, it is, look, this will be worth of your attention as well. Since today we are talking about Jacob Zuma, uh, in, in, the, in all honesty, I thought it is worth, of, it is worth sharing. Now, with me having say having said what I've just said, having read what I've just read, tell me in the comment section below, Uguti when what do you think about this? Was it a tucker tech? Because we have had um um lot uh if I'm not mistaken, he said that Jacob Zuma will be in the hospital before May 2029, May 29th, right, 2024. Then you Benitele had said that uh, Uzuma will be dead by four um, elections, right? I forgot the third one. So I think there was a third one, right? So with that being said, uh, where you have had people talking about that openly, saying that this is going to happen and something of that nature did indeed occur, what do you think or what's your take about everything that I've just said here. I'm interested to hear your thoughts and your opinion. So continue to write that in the comment section below. Was it staged? Because they are saying that there's no evidence that it was staged. So if, for instance, we say he he, look, he was targeted, who targeted who President Jacob Zuma and for the why, right? I would be interested to hear that in the comment section below, obviously. Now, uh, what do you make of today's victory? I'm interested to hear that as well. What's your take about the fact that Dudzile uh, Zuma is going to parliament, is going to be the member of parliament come uh, May 2029, uh, May 29, 2024? What's your take about the fact that Bongengosi Kanyele is uh, look, asked or they are saying that he should be um, Bongosi Kanyele should be the Minister of Education. A lot of people have already said that uh, he needs to learn. Jacob Zuma to be the president of this country. Again, will you agree or disagree we'll look with that? Uh, tell me in the comment section below as we are looking at or as we are reacting to this whole thing of Jacob Zuma winning the case in the IEC. And then also, let's talk about the performance of Dalim Bov, right? Uh, because the ANC did make it about Dalimbov and it was a bit personal. So before I start now talking about Dalimbov, I want us to look, I want to read your comments. But now let's just look at the fact that, we will, oh, after this session of me reading your comments, we will then have to go back and look at the fact that Dalimbov has already won two cases. There's only one that is pending. And the one that is pending is the one where... Um, 
Remind me, remind me, remind me, remind me. Uh, the one that is pending is the one where, oh, who is this person? Um, no, 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 this person is the one where, is the one, is the issue of it, look, it trademark and the issue of e in the name. So he has already won two. One was the deregistration of EMK where he was working with Ulu Advocates Kakan. Two was the one now where, uh, is the one where, Jacob Zuma was to was not to be participating or was not allowed to participate in this whole thing of election. But now he has won that one. Where now again I want us to I want you to tell me which, what you think about that. And then now we are left with this one. Uh, if he wins this one, it's gonna be a clean sweep. Where if he wins the issue of a logo, the name, the trademark, and all the stuff, that's gonna be a clean sweep for advocate Danimbo. What do you make of Advocate Dalimbov? Because I believe we need to talk about Dalimbov for himself. Um, okay, let's hear what somebody's got to say. Um, our education is divided into three levels, primary, secondary, and higher institution. No, uh, you can't successfully handle that portfolio. I don't agree, Bongs. Okay, no problem. I get you. I salute you. I respect your opinion, um, Danny. I, I hear you that. And then who uh, Adeline um, Dumbbell, back in 2020, I told my colleague that I foresee Zuma being elected back in the office. I told them that he is the only person that uh, look at the moment uh, with the capacity to lead a nation. Wow. Now, what, what do you mean? Um, what do you mean? Um, Who's this person? Adeline, what do you mean when you say he's the only person with the capacity to lead the nation, right? Uh, are, you, are you saying on the basis of... Okay, let me, let me, let, 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 let me, let me ask this. Um, right now, our GDP is growing at about 1%. Under Jacob Zuma, it was growing at about 5%. And then you get the things that Jacob Zuma did, one of it was when there was no change. He... He brought Machela Koko and the Brian Molefe to ESCOM. It took them only five months to end low trading. <laughs> the Minister of Low Trading says we should celebrate that it's been 13 days without low trading. <laughs> I'm like, hey, that's in sure, no. Low trading shouldn't be there to begin with. Yeah, we can't celebrate that, that it is, it is not, the, it's not there. Right, but let's continue reading here. Uh, we last read the one of Adeline. Uh, Adeline, where is Adeline now? Um, okay, Adeline, okay, yes. I think he, like, I think he's, um, tough. Uh, oh yeah, he's 81. 81, I've already confirmed that. He's actually the number of people um, on the Uzuma. Okay, Utigem, actually, that's the number of Uzuma has been gifted in men, look, um, uh, with, with wisdom. Olisi John, that accident was a man-made, either by Zuma or some ANC puppet. Give thanks to all uh, ja, people who's, who, who, who's part of this MK. More the return of the, of the Mac. Zuma has uh, local, have standard three local standard three. Zuma story is a very interesting and inspiring. Vote MK impossible is nothing. <laughs> he said a lot of things that are very important in that sentence. By the way, um, there are a lot of things that we can interrogate in that sentence. But yeah, okay. Uh, Leon Paul, mina ngim tandela uguti atwale uguti ngim tandela. Uti ni mina ni mtandela uguti a ule uloku uleta uguti siswe si chagu si si buyele gubando abam nyama ngoba jenga manje si petwe abando abam sope naba nabando anaba betu baya baya iti nga military training gui gui gap after a okay oh okay 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 okay, okay. let me read, let me read this one again mina ngi mthana ngi lok ngi mthandela ukuthi uletha ukuthi isilokho isizwe sibuyele kubantu abamnyama ngoba njengamanje siphethwe abantu abamhlophe nabantwana bethu bayayidinga i military training gui one year gap after it okay uh 
Kunju Zogama, Uti President Zuma was born to be a leader. A good man Zulu. I disagree that in the, that the accident was planned or attempted hit. I'm always on the road most of the time, escaping VIP protection vehicle. Accident happens to any uh, road users. Okay, good man Zulu. I got you. I got you. Leon Paul Utimina Mifisa Uhuti Udalimpo for Abe Umpatu Umteto La Ezwe. That's another interesting because you know what I'm saying. You are looking at people that have done something really incredible. So you are not just electing people for the sake of electing people, but you are looking at their credibility, their track record, and all the stuff. Um, I wouldn't contest to that. I wouldn't contest. I wouldn't contest that. I think I will also compare. But I can also invite the likes of, he must compete with the likes of Abos Kakane. You know what I'm saying? Abos Advocates Kakane have done a lot for this country as well. You understand? Uh, I don't know. One will even say Unugai Tobi as well. Advocate Unugai Tobi should also be part and parcel of the people that will be competing with Advocate, um, Advocate Dalimpo for that position to be in charge of our legal system. I don't know. The, one can even suppose, look, propose that. What's your take when? What do you think? Let's hear that. Uh, um, to see. Forward at ever, or to forward ever, uh, what never, viva, mamalala, tell them straight into their face, even the corrupt. Oh, Leon Paul, Uti, viva, MK, Goodman, Zulu, at Paul Leon, Dalim Pofu is the EFF member, not MK part. But remember that though he's an EFF member, he can still be used. Um, remember that you've got, ooh, who's this woman? Who's this woman? Uh, I forgot her name. She's not a member of ANC. She's got. Uh, she's a leader. Uh, she's the founder of a good part. Uh, Patricia Dalil, 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 something like that. She's not. But right now she's 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 having a position appointed by E E look ANC. So even though this person may not be part and parcel of EMK, but MK can see can still say, listen, we like your track record. Can you please come and assist us with this department? It can, it, can, it, it, it still can, it's still possible. It can happen, whether or not he's a member of their or of that political that political party. Um, okay, uh, let me hear. Bongani Emmanuel, Advocate Dalimpov is a goat. No one can stand on the way while Ulok Ukapadia Efuna Umju. Stop using FNP. That person is a Uchablane Hatem. What you have had them? <laughs> they are saying to me, guys, I should stop using FNP. <laughs> we should have had them, guys. I should stop using FNP. Uh, which bank would you recommend? Because I, I, to be quite honest, um, I, I think changing a, bank, the, changing a bank is not a big deal, right? But which one would you recommend, guys? And then again, if I change the bank, what's the benefit for me? <laughs> I get the fact that uh, there's this thing that the, the bank has done to Jacob Zuma. I get that. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I can honestly ask the question to say, um, you know, you guys are not even using my bank account. There's one person that um, is in Europe that do use my bank account. Uh, that person do, do donate to my bank account. I think it's, her name is Portia. Right. Let me check the, the look, um, anything related to this before I close. In fact, let me first check here so that I can, look, we can do well to close this live stream on a high note. I'm just going to check if there's anything that is, uh, has happened uh, so far. But yeah, we're just looking at anything related to Zoom. Uh, Zoom. Uh, <laughs> Hey, let me let me read this one, guys. This one is gonna make you laugh, eh? This one is gonna make you laugh. Eh, I'm looking at the issue of this guy where ANC, eh? Umama Bolo, who we are told uh, his case was struck off because it was deemed that is not an agent thing. It's not an agent application. Um, <laughs> hey, guys. Guys, I'm just looking at this. Um, yeah, maybe we can just talk about this one and then, yeah, I think I will call it a day for me. I don't know, but I think I'll call it a day for me. Uh, I want to know, guys, Uguti, what do you 
what's your take and what do you think about a lot of things that um, have transpired here? Uh, we have seen Uche Kobzuma today winning um, uh, the court case that a lot of people thought that he was never going to win. But today, voila, Jacob Zuma won that thing, right? Um, he's definitely going to be on the ballot paper. Uh, that is exactly what we were talking about today, uh, just to remind you. Um, uh, darling, I uh, for ANC president on Matepe League. <laughs> Jablan Hatebe will love MK. This person who wrote here, I don't know, um, love from Russia. I don't know. I can't read this um, the way they wrote here. I don't know, guys. Policy John Daly is a good advocate. I think he should be a chief justice of our country. Um, like I said, if a person is doing well in, in their respective field, why don't you give them a chance to at least do something, you know what I'm saying? Just give them a chance. That's it's only fair that you give them a chance to do something for our country and contribute even further. Um, for me, I wouldn't I wouldn't contest the assertion that you should be part and parcel of the judicial system, even a chief justice. I wouldn't contest that assertion, right? And the local oh, okay, this person wrote in. Uh, I love our African brothers. I sincerely wish you to victory the disgrace that is going on in your country you need true independency oh okay 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 thank you very much you are watching us from where uh love from russia okay <laughs> when you say russia i think of president putin <laughs> the guy is always uh serious you know what i'm saying <laughs> I, I always say one day just one day i will meet that guy I just want to interview President Putin. I just want to look at Putin. I, I, want to, I want to pick his brain just to get the thinking of how does President Putin think? You know what I'm saying? Because he's forever quiet. Uh, right. Oh, look, oh, Marabal Oti. Nyegen, oh, look, oh, Naga, oh, Zuma, oh, Kulu, oh, look, oh, 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 Okay, yeah, but that is what I'm hearing. Jacob Zuma, let Jacob Zuma release or help a black person or a black, a black person get relieved from uh, the struggles that black people look, do uh, undergo. Now, as we now as we come towards the conclusion of our live stream, now. Here are the questions that I would love you to, I would like you guys to tell me in the comment section below. And um, what, what's your take? I haven't had a lot of people explaining this for me clear. Would you rather have President Jacob Zuma as a president or you will rather have him mentoring a certain individual? What do you prefer? This, those are some of the things that we were discussing today. Bongosi Kanye, the others are saying he should be the Minister of Education, judging from his experience. What's your take? Dudu Zilezuma, she is going to Parliament. What's your take about that? The issue of the accident, some are saying it was staged. Some are saying no. But there's no evidence that it was staged at the current juncture. I want to know, you guys, who are you voting for this coming election? Is it MK, ANC, EFF, right? Uh, this one is, the following question is very interesting. So I'm going to ask you this question. So you have, I'm going to name the top political parties. ANC, MK, ANC, EFF. Uh, IFP, DA, IFP, DA, uh, I don't know if I'm forgetting other one. I'm just naming this top five. About this top five, who do you think should collaborate or who do you think should work with who here? May I say, it makes sense that MK and EFF works together in this upcoming election. Who do you think should work with who, right? DA, they already prepared to work with the ANC. If you understand, 
to them very carefully. They are prepared to work with the ANC and IFP on the other hand. IFP, they are prepared to work, to work with everybody. IFP is not choosy. That's what I've seen with IFP. They are not choosy. They are prepared to work with everybody. But specifically for MK, why I'm saying specifically for MK? Because they also believe in what we call it the land without expropriation. So since there is um, expropriation without compensation, uh, and you see the EFF also believes in the very same thing, expropriation without compensation. Who do you think should work with who? Uh, say, for instance, the MK doesn't get the two-third majority. Who do you think should work with who? Let me read this letter from e <coughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Let me read this letter, guys. Uh, you might find this letter very interesting. It comes from a uh, look, it was released by E. <coughs> E, the MK, and this is, I've done a video about this, but let me read this. This letter was released by EMK um, on the 6th of April, 2024. It says, today marks uh, 372 years since the arrival of Jan van Riebeck in uh, 1652, an event that uh, heralded an era of profound suffering and disaster. Uh, profound suffering and this uh, position of South Africans, uh, indigenous, indigenous people. This sudden moment initiated a systematic uh, degeneration of uh, of the dignity, land, and the wealth of our ancestors, establishing a legacy of inequality, injustice that lingers to this day. The era witnessed a horrific act of violence, including mass murders, uh, slavery, and, and rape, and uh, making making the marking the beginning of prolonged struggle of indigenous people the subsequent act of uh, look, of union in 2000 look in 1910 not 2010 in 1910 a part between africaners and british colonizers which uh, which excluded the indigenous people local blacks further uh, look estranged the exclusion of the black majority from the psychoeconomic and political uh, fabric of their own country this act systematically marginalized our kings and chiefs, stripping them of their authority and dignity. It is disheartening to observe the echoes of the exclusion in contemporary times, notably in the attempt by the by, by, by Ramaphosa ANC, its uh, relentless yet dismal attempt uh, to disabandon the to disbanden the MK party. So, so that the African and the Boers did. Uh, sidelined the, the voices of the indigenous uh, majority uh, in the uh, like in the running of their uh, of their country of birth. It is worth noticing that the the current constitution mirrors the look like, the 1910 Act of Union, perpetuating uh, perpetuating the marginalization of indigenous people population while ensuring the prosperity of the colonial uh, signatories. Hence, MK Party's determination to amend it. The MK Party the MK Party reflect on the catalytic event on, on 1652, not merely as a historical recount, but as a dire reminder of the need of a restitution and systematic reform in our present and future. The legacy of Van, Van Riebeck, uh, characterized by greedy violence and theft, inflicted deep wounds on our national conscious and uh, um, hindered our secular economic uh, right and then the letter continued to read as follow uh, so guys let me read this letter as well um, this person said regrettably, re regrettably effort to dismantle this legacy has been uh, largely abandoned by the ANC of Ramaphosa which continue happily to maintain the status quo where land and wealth remain concentrated in the hands of few 
This neglect has exacerbated sexual, sexual economic uh, disparities, leaving the rightful or local rightful land, land owners uh, landless and impoverished, uh, deepening the division within our society. As we approach the 2024 elections, the MK party is, is resolute in its mission to uh, a, a local less this um, historical injustice. We advocate for a decisive two-third majority to allow us to amend the constitution aiming to reclaim the land and its resources for the rightful owners, restore dignity to our people and their lead and local leaders, and foster a society grounded in justice and equality. We further, we further commit to overhaul our current uh, economic governance and social framework which still favors the signatories and the at look which still favors the signatories at the expense of indigenous people uh, to reflect values of fairness uh, inclusivity and respect to respect for our rich cultural heritage prioritizing the needs of of the disfranchised people by casting your vote for the MK with two third majority, the upcoming elections you are championing championing a movement of um, a lasting change. Together we can heal the wounds of our past, build more adequate future, reclaim the essence of Ubuntu that defines us. Join us in transforming our beloved country into a land of hope, dignity, and e equality for all. That is what MK has got to say. They then gave or wrote this letter, which is very important for me. Um, in this following letter, they've got this to say, which I think I need to remind you guys about this letter. This letter is very important. This letter read as follows as well. Uh, this letter, this letter, MK wrote this letter on the 8th of April, 2024. They say, MK party condemns the impending uh, retrenchment of the South African post office by the ANC of Ramaphosa. Um, Omkondovis is a party. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Omkondovis is a party. Uh, concern, look, this approved. The, okay, well, is a party expresses its profound concern and disapproval of the look of the Ramaphosa ANC governance uh, recent announcement to uh, drastically reduce the South African Post Office uh, like, uh, uh, workforce from eleven thousand and eighty-three to a mere six thousand three hundred eighty-three. So they're going to cut a lot of people there. This decision threatened to retrench approximately 42% of post office staff, current staff, right? Impacting about uh, 4,700 individuals. Such a move is not only cold-hearted, but also recklessly timed, and it is un it, it, it unfold against the backdrop of, uh, of an economy growing at a sluggish rate of approximately 1%. Staggering unemployment rate of 42% with the black community being disappropriately affected. The application of the decision Adaya uh, in a country where each, each employed individual often support an average of eight family members, a legacy of the apartheid era compounded by the current administration's failure. The implication from this retrenchment will be devastating to countless families. The MK, the MK party stands firmly against the neoliberal policy, which in a look in indicative, which is which is indicative of a, a broader pattern of systematic devisement in um, dismantling of state-owned enterprise SOEs under the under the guise of Ramaphosa's ANC gov governance, particular outlook orchestrated by Pravin Gordon with President Ramaphosa's endorsement. This is not an, iso look, an isolated in, 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 look, an incident, but, uh, but, but part of a troubling trend that has seen the, um, the dismantling uh, and sell, of, and sell of, of a national asset, including the tragic downfall of South African Airways, SAA, which was sold off for a mere 51 rand. The decline of one's pro local proud and tackle such as Dan Dinell and Prasa into a shadow of its former slaves. 
These actions have led into a significant job losses, leaving many, uh, many employees struggling to survive. This strategy aimed at um, devaluing, devaluing, devaluing uh, SOEs for sale to look to the beneficiaries of the CR7, CR17 campaign um, is blatantly disregarded. So, yes, uh, that is what EMK guys has got to say. They are saying, furthermore, the, uh, the hard move to break into ESCOM uh, three part before the May 2000 and uh, May 29 election for easier privatization, privatization to allies of the current administration, along with similar plans to Transnet, showcase a, con a, 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 a concentrated, concentrated effort to undermine and privatize our uh, normal infrastructure. Disregarding the socioeconomic uh, repercussion on the workforce of the broader public, the MK party commit to uh, reversing these injustices upon assuming an office uh, on May 2029. Our immediate action will include halting all the pending retrenchment initiate, initiative effort to reinstate those who have been unjustly removed from their position. We pledge to restore the integrity, stability, and operational capacity of the SOEs and prioritize the creation and the preservation of jobs for South Africans. And then they say, uh, they continue to say, in this critical moment, MK Party calls, on, calls upon all South Africans to stand united in granting us the two-third majority needed to rectify the extensive damage inflicted by Ramaphosa's ANC administration on our nation's valuable SOEs and to support our mission of job restoration and creation. Together, we reclaim the promise of a prosperous, adequate, and just South Africa for all its citizens. What's your take, guys? I'm, I'm interested to hear your thought and your opinion. I've just gone through a lot of things here where I thought, uh, yeah, let me read your last comments because now I need to sign out. Um, the MK have just had a lot of promise, guys. Um, will love MK Okay, we've already read that one. Policy. Uh, John, I would rather have Jacob Zuma mentoring another leader with MK. Policy, John, my vote goes to EFF. Okay. Policy, Moloko, Mawa, Mana, Uti, Mahon, Mana, Uti, Andi, Mbalula is also quite. Uti, Andi, Mbalula is also quiet this day. Yeah, I think too. I think too. Okay, policy John, EFF, Azapo, ATM, MK should work together. Okay, thank you very much for that response. Um, in the end, Malema will be to, will, will be together with the ruling party as an alliance. You will soon receive proof of this. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, Tobil MK is a forward. MK forward. Jabulo demande viva M viva MK viva Mshalozi. Uh Untagam Goni Zuma must deal with Malema now and take all the people to come vote to MK party. Um guys, it has been quite interesting to be with you. Uh we have had this time. We will yeah, have this this to ourselves. I was busy so solving the issue of the stream because every time when I was doing a stream, it was always going to be delayed, 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 delayed. So now I was like, you know what, I'm going to work on this one. So I did. Um, it appears that we are functioning at a, a, an efficient uh, pace now because, yeah, back, back then this thing wasn't responding the way it should, but now it does. Um, I'm very happy about that. So yeah, I think we are now we are now at the tail end of our live stream. Guys, before I can just leave you, I'm looking at the likes. 
on our live streams. So far, I'm seeing 31. But we've got a lot of people that are watching this live stream. Guys, please do the honorable thing. I'm begging you guys. Kindly do the right thing. Come on, good people. Do the right thing. I'm begging you. And then again, uh, the other thing, I will also appreciate that you guys do comment. Even, even when we are done with this live stream, continue to comment. Continue to share this live stream. And ultimately, guys, I would like to hear from you if you think it would it look good. It's a good idea for us to have a live stream where we talk. We just have time, time like this where we sit down, we break down everything that happened on the day. For me, I think it's a great, it's a, it's a good idea that we sit down like this. We vent. I go to read your call, or I get to read your comments. You look, you talk to me. We participate in real time. You know what I'm saying? For me, I feel like that's a very, very, very good idea. Uh, let me read these last few comments. Oh, Leon Paul, MK Forever, my people. Unjabulo uh, Msweli, hi. Umalema uh, has done what we expected from him. Please wake up those who will vote for EFF. Okay? Leon Paul, oh, Pivele Umbalul. Yeah, I'm Mazimina. <laughs> Somebody called him Usis Mbalula. Yeah, I was not there when Mbalula. I did not call you Usis Mbalula. Usis <laughs> Mbalula, I wasn't there. <laughs> Let's end it here, good people. I'll see you guys on the next 